California is only now heading into the teeth of the wildfire season but already has seen nearly three times as much acreage burn than during all of 2023. Matt Howe, 37, a resident of El Carrizo village saw a portion of his house scorched from one of the wildfires. Howe feels fortunate that he has a roof over his family tonight, he laments the damage the fire has done to his neighborhood. He said, I heard we lost 40 homes, and you know, it's tough being two of the homes survived are ours, you know, and seeing a lot of good neighbors and good friends not have homes anymore. In El Carrizo Village, a community of 250 along Highway 74 in Riverside County, an Associated Press photographer saw at least 10 homes and several cars engulfed in flames. More than 5,500 homes in Riverside County were under evacuation orders, affecting more than 19,000 residents. The bar after we clean it out. What are you looking for something to scoop with, huh? No, I didn't just throw, on, throw it down because these are actually worse. Some of my good jellies, actually. I don't. Yeah. 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 I'll get in there with my hands. You know, the yeah, unfortunate thing was is I bought this chainsaw when I first moved up here, too. <laughs> and then you got bigger and bigger. Yeah, and then now this would just be a toy. Life goes on. <laughs> right, your staple gun, Dad. Yeah. I remember when a crossbow. <laughs> no, a guy would come in with a undersized tool, like a little hammer. Good thing it's just go. all stuff that could be replaced. Where the hell did you get that from Fisher Price? Um, you know, for us, it's. It's tough, you know, we lost a lot of, um, you know, our holiday stuff, Christmas, you know, obviously decorations. We don't have anything for Christmas. We lost, you know, kid stuff, um, tools, um, but, you know, fortunate that's just a garage that we can rebuild and uh, tools we can we can replace. Um, yeah, I'm, it's devastating coming back to the neighborhood because I, I heard we lost 40 homes and, you know, it's... It's tough being two of the homes survived of ours, you know, and seeing a lot of good neighbors and good friends not have homes anymore. It's, that's that's the toughest part, honestly. Um, it, it hurts inside because I know there for a while we didn't think we had a home to come home to as well. And um, just over the moon that we have a place to sleep tonight. So. Yeah. That good putter I got from Richard Egan, Dad. Which one? I didn't think. That. You know, it, it, the small community we have up here. Um, we hear about them, especially during fire season, they're every, it almost seems every other week or at least once a month, and you almost get callous to them, you know, like the, probably the fire department gets callous to them, you know, but um, this one just came so fast, I don't think, I don't think anybody was prepared to move um, as fast as it had come, um, which, you know, unfortunately led a lot of people to leave their belongings behind um, and get out with what they could. Um, like for us, it was tough, we left our pigs behind and our chickens and turkeys and we're just glad that they made it. You know, we're, we're really, we're really fortunate. She was, a, she was an artist and ceramic. She would make all kinds of, you know, beautiful ceramic stuff. You know, she was really famous for what everyone wanted was the tortilla warmer. Oh yeah, yeah. It was ceramic. It was about this high with the lid on nice it. And, oh man, it yep. keeps the tortillas hot forever. Yeah. Wildfires raged across parts of Southern California this week, forcing thousands of people to evacuate, damaging homes and creating multiple areas where firefighters had to try to confront the flames, all at the same time. In Wrightwood, a small mountain community in San Bernardino County, firefighters responded as fire erupted near homes, the landscape engulfed in fire. Known as the Bridge Fire, it is one of three major wildfires currently burning in Southern California. Another blaze in Orange County, called the Airport Fire, also quickly spread. Firefighters battled back the flames on the ground and by helicopter, pouring water over the blaze. 
Once green landscapes have been turned to gray, the line fire, also in San Bernardino County, scorched the ground, leaving barren black forests in its wake where only leafless, burnt trees remained. So far this year, California has seen nearly three times as much acreage burn than during all of 2023.